I tried this sunblock, which is one of the few sunblocks I've ever bothered to try, and the results surprised me so. Let's talk about it. Hi, I'm Stacey Kinyanjui and welcome to my channel. I usually start my skincare product reviews by talking a little bit about the brand, but today we're gonna get right into it. So, I tried the Farmstay UV Shield Sunblock Cream in SPF 50 PA++++. This product is meant to offer sun protection and also be moisturizing to the skin and that's due to the presence of ingredients like hyaluronic acid which have been highlighted on the packaging. The brand claims that this sunblock will brighten and improve wrinkles on your skin and that it can also double as a makeup base or primer that will wear beautifully under makeup. This is my first time using this sunscreen brand and as you can see I've used up quite a bit of it. I do plan on finishing this product but I have a lot of mixed feelings about it. This has all the makings of a perfect physical sunscreen except for one tiny detail. This has a lightweight texture and the faintest of scents. It doesn't fall into the category of sunscreens that are super easy to spread on the skin but it's not the hardest either. However, I find that it applies a little bit like a lightweight paste, which does need a bit of time to rub into the skin. Though it does have hyaluronic acid, which in most products from what I've experienced gives off a dewy or a glowy look, this settles into a normal finish or even a matte finish, but over time as the day goes by, it does settle into like a normal looking shine which even as a person with oily skin, I don't mind it. It's not very moisturizing in my opinion. I've used other sunscreens in the past that can work even as a moisturizer for a person with oily skin like myself. But for this, I definitely need to use my moisturizer before I apply this sunblock. And so if you do have dry skin, then you definitely need to moisturize before the sunblock. One thing I really like is that from application until the end of the day, this product doesn't feel heavy and it doesn't feel greasy on the skin. Instead, it feels like you have nothing on your skin. And I've also found that it reduces the shininess or oiliness that I usually have as the day goes by. For me, that was definitely a great plus for a physical sunscreen. Does this brighten your skin as it mentions on the packaging? Personally, I did not notice any difference on my skin, but my mom kept mentioning that my skin looked brighter after I started using this product. Honestly, I think I'm just having a good month with my skin, but I thought it was worth mentioning. Then again, when I met my friends and asked them if my skin looks brighter, all of them said that I look the same as I've always looked, so it's a 50-50 on whether or not it brightens your skin. I do think it helped to make my complexion more smooth, which could be what my mom was noticing. On to some more solid observations. This does not sting your eyes or your skin in general. So even if you have sensitive skin, you might find that this is still a nice option. The one con that this sunscreen has, which isn't much of a shocker because it is a physical sunscreen, is that it has a white cast. If you apply too much, you get white patches or white clumps of product on your skin and they won't go away no matter how much you try to rub it in. Normally, I use the two finger rule to apply my sunscreen and that's basically the standard rule of how you're meant to apply your sunscreen. But with this product, I really cannot do that. To prevent it from having a white cast and also making those white patches, I can only use one finger of product and even with that, I have to spread it across my face and also on my neck. It unfortunately gets more disappointing with this product. Even though it's feels nice on the skin if you manage to apply it without a white cast and the white patches. If you do apply it and get those white patches I'm talking about, even over makeup, you'll still be able to see those white particles on your skin. And so from experience, I found that I had to actually wash off an entire face of makeup, 
turn off the phone screen and start all over again. I'm thinking you were made for me. It's not my birthday yet, cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Second and the third and the rest of it You could be one of the things I love Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door locked I like everything that has a cherry on top Get on my list of the things I love, love, love You could be the one I trust All the second chances they are nothing for us I like it all with a cherry on top Be one of the things I love We don't have to move so fast Baby, I will show you how that was my experience with this sunscreen and if you're a person with a deeper skin tone than me then it's probably best to pass on this sunscreen. On the other end of the spectrum I've seen a couple of reviews of mostly white creators who've used this sunscreen and it looked so beautiful on them. It left this nice natural kind of moisturized look. Personally this was the first and it is the last purchase of making on this sunblock. On another note this is the first Korean skincare product I've used that did not work well on my skin. I unfortunately cannot remember how much this product was but it was definitely on the affordable side of things. In fact it was the cheapest sunscreen at the store where I buy my skincare products and that is why I took a chance on it and decided to try it. On a positive note, one benefit that I did forget to mention is if you apply it and it doesn't leave a white cast on your skin, it really does work great as a makeup base or a primer. But to get that nice finish, I need to use less of the product which defeats the purpose of using sunscreen in the first place. So I only wear this sunscreen when I'm staying indoors. But for a person who it doesn't leave a white cast, this could be a great product and also a great primer. That is the end of this review. Thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, comment below and give this video a thumbs up.